the button to say go live, go live, I'm going live, oh live. I know. <laughs> hey, everybody, happy Friday. It's me, Dale, the Magical Balloon Dude, streaming live here out of my home studio, as I do every Friday at 3.30 Central Mountain Time. Whew. Hey, I know we got some people out there. Do me a favor. If you just joined in, go out to the chat box. If you got a chat screen, make sure you drop out and say hello so I know who's there. There are some regulars who jump in who know this technique. This actually appears on my screen. I could actually see what's happening and everything's cool. Judy is logged on already. Boom. Judy is here. I'm live too. Hey, that's so cool. Judy's live. Beats being dead. <laughs> oh man, there's a whole bunch of jokes there. But really folks, do me a favor. Say hi. Stop in. Let me know you're here. Uh, I have a chat screen that I could actually see. I know some regulars have popped out. If you've never joined me before, my name is Dale LeBrock. I'm a professional balloon entertainer. I'm going to be teaching my version of Buddy the Elf, which is actually a hat version, which is right here. This cute little design that I have to try fitting into the picture here. Let me actually drop away my screen. Get over here, get live screen. And this is the guy we're actually going to be making today. I'm going to go step by step, show you how to do it. It is not difficult. It's fun. It's going to be exciting. You're going to be like, woo! If not, oh well. <laughs> no, you're seriously, you can have a good time. Thank you for dropping in. Uh, I got Ferb behind me watching me. He was done from a TikTok video that I did. And today, like I say, we're doing Buddy the Elf. Uh, in fact, I actually have stick version of buddy the elf just hanging around here Woo! so uh with that let's get the show going and get things happening here hi my name is dale leprockton welcome to my youtube channel where we're streaming live today let's learn something new fun and exciting so let's get started now all right, just to let you know, I stream every Friday right here, 3.30 on this platform right here. If you're available on Mondays and are a Twitch fan, you could always drop out to my Twitch channel at 3.30. I Twitch. Yes, no, I don't Twitch. I actually talk about marketing, SEO, and all that fun stuff. So if you have any interest in that, jump out on my Twitch feed. Also, you could see me sometimes on my YouTube channel, excuse me, my Facebook channel, and you could always see me here on my YouTube channel. So that's that big plug. It's going to scroll down periodically from the bottom of the screen. I'm going to do a little housekeeping here, get it cleaned up, get it nice and neat. And as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Definitely watch to the end because I give more information here. And also, last thing, leave me a comment. If you like something, have a question, feel free to drop it out in the chat box because my chat box streams live. I get to pop it up. I get to see who's out there, what's happening, and actually how many people are playing around with me today on my stream feed. That's one of the favorite things of YouTube that I have the capabilities to see. But let's actually start off talking about this guy right here. This is an elf that is really easy to make. He's fun to make. Uh, he's a great hat to wear. I just don't have enough room in my studio here. I have to readjust cameras, but he is not difficult to make. It's going to start out, we're going to need a couple balloons. I'm going to need a 350 blush and a 350 white. That's it for the 350s. All the rest is done out of 260s. One of the reasons why I like this elf is due to the fact that elves can be almost any color that you would like them to be in. You could have a red elf, which is the traditional trouble elf that you see uh, around this time of the year getting into mischief. Then we have Santa's elf, which always seems to be green, but you could have blue elves, pink elves, red elves. You could actually throw in different ornaments, which I will show you uh, a couple techniques for making the ornament. So that's all. Stay tuned, have fun, and let's get going on this. Let's start first. We're going to start with the head. That's how I start this. We're going to blow up a 350. Blush 350 to be exact. Pull my balloons a little closer here. So we're starting with a blush 350. I didn't, we're not going crazy with it, folks, because what we're going to do is have a part for the hair or the head, the hat where it sits, the eyes, and then we're going to have the face 
in the rice. So just inflate a 350, uh, about halfway, that's all you're going to need. The real trick is, this is where the technique comes in. You're going to inflate a 260. You're going to use about a half a balloon of a 260, if that. So again, you don't have to inflate this. This is one of the things I like about this elf. Very few of the balloons are fully inflated, which means that I could inflate and start twisting. A uh, thing that I used to hate about one balloon animal sometimes was you needed to have a certain amount of balloon to make the figure. With bulk balloon figures, it, half a balloon is usually what you need. Quick inflate, boom, twist, interact, and keep moving. So with that being said, we're going to start with the ear. We actually start with one ear. That's the pointed ear. That's going to be one bubble, about two fingers, three fingers max, because we don't want to have too crazy of ears. But we want to have ears that are long enough, and I'll show you a technique. If you do want to make your ears a little longer, take this balloon, stretch it a little, squeeze it, and you now get a pointed shape ear instead of having that traditional tied knot. That's one of the reasons why I tell you, do not tie an extremely large or tight knot, because if you do that, you won't be able to stretch it. So in this mantra of me memorizing how it goes, it goes ear, earlobe, cheek, nose, cheek, earlobe, around, back, up. So to show you that, ear, pinch twist. Approximately three fingers, that's going to be the cheek. Don't go crazy with it. You don't want to go five, six. You don't want to go two or one. You want to have a cheek. Followed by a nose, which is a standard bubble. One finger bubble, one and a half. Pinch twist. There's his nose, so we have an ear, cheek, nose. We're going to follow that up with the same size bubble again. Other cheek. Bottom of the earlobe, which means you make the bubbles the same size here. Now, a couple options you could do. You could go to the back of the head or you could do the jawline. I'm going to go to the back of the head. So what does that mean? I'm going to take approximately two hands. You're going to see why I do two hands. That's going to give me the back of the head. So you could see that from this angle here. So we got the ear, pinch twist, cheek, pinch twist, cheek, pinch twist, go to the back. Now, this is where we take our 350, insert it into the back, pull it up. Voila, there's the top of Buddy's face. That's the forehead, that's the head. We don't have to worry about putting it all the way down, too low. Just move it down where we have enough place to draw eyes and then put the hat. If we need to readjust things, we could just slide it up. Now we're doing the bottom of the jaw, which in this case, I got to flip the balloon. I like to give it a little squeeze here. Again, it's approximately two hands, or however big you want the elf to have his mouth. Uh, one thing I've noticed is if I make the mouth too large, that means that when I go to fill in that balloon for the teeth, this balloon right here, it becomes too large of a space, and then I get a gap, which I don't want to do. Now, I'm going to take... Make my earlobe a little smaller than this one because I'm going to break it off. Dispose. Tie a knot. And I'm going to squeeze the ear a little. That gives me my pointed ear look. So I have my two ears. As always, we could trim off, make things look nice and pretty. I found, I found my cutter my balloon cutter and it's been in my bag and I put it in my bag due to the fact that the uh, razor blade needs to get changed inside. It's a dull razor blade. So uh, pulled it out, tried it, went, eh, not going to work too much today. So here is my face, quick and easy to do. Next part, I'm going to put this aside for a second. Take your 350 inflate it we're going to use this for two parts we're going to use this for the top of the hat we're also going to use this for the ball of the hat so what we're going to do is i make like good three inch bubbles and i'm going to make five of them remember you're going to have to do a minimum of at least six seven twists in between i'm just going to lock this in between my fingers so i could keep twisting you don't know that technique you lock it in like that Still allows you to keep moving. One, two, three, four. Here comes number five. All right, make sure you do not let go. 
grab, spin around. And I'm just gonna tie a knot. Not once, but this many. I'm a two piece twice. I want to acknowledge. Hi, how you doing, Pauline? I noticed you just dropped in. That's one of the advantage about seeing who pops in, who says hi, who doesn't say hi. Now, I'm going to take this part right here. Do good. Boom. Hold it. Why do I do that? It's because I want to still make my bubble. Plus, it gives me, a, you know, something to do with my arm. You know, air out the armpit. No, don't. Don't air out your armpit. Well, you're giving it away. It doesn't matter. Um, now, what we're going to do is at this point, this is this section, but I'm going to be taking... And I'm using winter green. Winter green happens to be the color that I'm using today. Why, you may wonder. I have the dark forest green. I have neon green. Uh, this is the key lime green right here being used right here. Again, this is actually this one here. This hat I actually used a 350 neon green versus the 260. Okay, so you can see a subtle difference there. That's why I always tell people, watch the videos to what? What do I say? Watch the videos at least to the end because that's when you're going to get the tips and the tricks and everything thrown in. And you're going to see something that maybe not just on the picture. All right, so at this point, what we've done is we have bubbles. We're going to take this, dirt it, tie these two together. Again, not one knot, but two knots. That ensures that everything's going to be tight. When the kid whacks it around, it's not going anywhere. Boom, that's the top of the hat. Now, what I like to do at this point is to give a little bend to the hat. It's going to come down to about where the ear is. Do a spin. It's going to wrap in and around and come out. And I position it, if you could see where it comes in this way. I still want to see the ear. I don't want to lose the ear. I don't want the ear falling behind. Then I'm going to break off. Thank you, Judy. You've finished the words for me. The end. Stick to the end. When you stick to the end, that's when I show you the stuff that I add in, things that I may have not told you before. Judy knows me very well here. She's uh, Judy is a good follower. She has been following each one of these for a while. Now, I'm going to take and double tie this end. So basically, I have used all of this 350 balloon, wasting very little of it. I know, this is where if I had a sound effects man, everybody would be going, yay, he used everything. Now, here's one of the tricks I'm going to show you, folks. This is why I ask you to stick around as long as I do and not just jump off. Let me get this off my screen. If you ever have a bubble that looks like this, we don't want to see that. What I want to see is if I take this bubble, I just twist it. You see how quickly it's cleaned up that whole image. Instead of it, here's the back side. Who cares what the back side is? We want the front side. So just by twisting it, don't screw around twisting this balloon. The balloon has a knot that's holding in that form. Just twist this right there. Boom. Done. Finish. Move on. In theory, this is the elf's head, but you notice right here, I want to change it. Let's see. I'm going to move, move the face up just a little. And again, I could spin this balloon. I can do helps when I look at it sometimes. I do a lot of the angles for the camera for you folks, but then I have to stop and look at it. Now. We're almost, we're almost finished with this. This is how quick this hat actually goes. Oh, wasn't thinking there. We need to do, get my bag of balloons here. I'm going to in, inflate a 260 forest green Qualitex here. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, did you just, you may have not noticed that I just fixed my pump by smacking it. $800 Pee Wee pump. Bam! There we go. It's working again. I know I shouldn't do that, but 
it's kind of the tricks of the trade that entertainers do. All right, now, I'm going to want to blow this up, and I want to keep a small piece here because we're going to actually tie into it. So I need to measure around my head because this is going to give me the arm length. So again, I can find that, find my head size, boom, boom, boom. How quick do you put on a kid's head? Sometimes if you don't want to put on a kid's head, I measure my own head because I have learned that kids' heads are about the same size we have. Get my microphone in here. Dump, 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 dump. All right, now, twist around. I'm just going to wrap this through. If you're a newbie and you don't understand that, we do that. That locks the balloon. That keeps it from untwisting. Just going to give it a little bend. Give it a little bend. It's easier, easier shape when you don't have a head. Ah, that sounds weird if you don't have a sculpture on there. Now, what I'm going to do is make a neck. And I want to give... I don't want to go with a really huge neck, but I don't want a really small neck. So this is something that you have to eyeball. So now I have the eyeball here. I have an eyeball here? No, I. <laughs> we eyeball this section right here. What I want to do is take and make a pinch twist. This moment, you're going to extract, remove, break off, eliminate. I tie off right here. All right, now I'm, I'm getting notified here that uh, YouTube is receiving not enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Hopefully you're not getting jigga 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 jagga uh, stuff streaming. Hopefully it's nice and smooth here. All right, now we've broken this off. Take this section. And that's going to fit right into that area. Now, gonna take this, put it on underneath my arm again, gets it out of the way. At this moment, we're gonna use quite a bit of this balloon and we have a couple different things we could do here. I am going to start with one version of the hand and then eventually work to the neck collar. So I'm going to show you two different versions. So at this point, what I would like you to do is if you haven't done so already, please watch to the end. You're almost already there, but make sure you click that notification button. So when I go live again, you know that I'm live, I stream in, and you can follow any of the new videos that I upload. I upload videos throughout the week sometimes. Uh, I upload some of my TikTok stuff on a day-to-day -day basis, so it's a good way to stay informed. Do me a favor, make sure you click on that subscribe button. All right, that's it for today. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point right here, squeeze it down, and I'm going to actually, this is version one. You could tie... I'm going to tie, not once, but again, twice. Why do I double tie? That ensures that the balloon does not fall off. It also ensures that I could abuse it a little more, the child could abuse it a little more, and it's not going to come undone. It does mean that if I'm line twisting, it does take that extra tenth of a second. All right, now I'm going to do a pinch twist. And doing it this way is kind of cumbersome due to the fact that I got this whole big balloon here. I have this big line. I'm going to back up here for a sec so you can see more of this. So I have all this in my way when I twist. So I'm going to do a pinch twist. And this is going to be a glove, which is nothing more than a fold, big bend fold, followed by a thumb, break, tie off. Option one, option two, I have the elf underneath or on my arm. All right, what I'm going to do is make a bubble, pinch twist, fold. I make the hand separate. Now that I have the hand separate, what I'm going to do is just take this wrap it around numerous times break off and if i can always tie the part that i've broken off all right now i don't want to get rid of this i need to save this tie it off what we've just done is two different versions of the hands one we could tie the hand in first and then proceed to make the hand or the second way is to tie make the hand and put uh, the hand wrapped in with the nozzle. Either way you want to do it, it, it comes up with the same results. Uh, 
the only thing that I've noticed, if you tie the hand in, if you're giving this to somebody who's going to be really rough, tie the hand to the balloon that guarantees that if it unravels, it's going to be there. Otherwise, what they do is they bring you a hand and then they bring you the hat and they go, oh, hand is off. And then you, then you have to put the two together. So, uh, neck part. Okay, the collar. All we're going to do is a fold. This is a one hand bubble, just folded. I just wrap this nozzle through here. Do another fold, same size. Dispose of. I'm being good, I'm throwing it not on my floor, but in a garbage basket. Just cleaned up my floor after doing a whole bunch of balloons. I had scraps all around. Just gonna take this nozzle after I tied it off, wrapped it through. So I have my my eight if uh you can look at this and say this is teddy bear legs, teddy bear arms, this is a broken sword handle. I mean, number of things. I'm going to take this part right here, and I'm going to insert it into the neck. This is the collar part. These are the little details that help make this balloon actually... I don't like to say the word pop. It gives it that wow factor. I mean, that's the wrong thing to say. Hey, your balloon pop. And I'm going to just give Buddy's arms a little more like he wants to hug people because Buddy is a lovable character. Here you go. You can see how the arms fit in. Everything's nestled nice and tight. It can fit on my head with no problem. A couple more things I want you to do here, folks. We're going to actually talk about making... Uh, the eyes, I'll show you how to draw the eyes, and I'm also going to show you how to make the ornament. Theoretically, we are 99% finished at this moment. Just spin around the knot, clean things up. Now, to make the ornament, I had a couple options here. I decided I was going to first run out, or not run out, but go to my basement and pull out some imprinted balloons. And I thought, you know... That's a waste. It's not a waste of imprinted balloons. It is a waste of resources due to the fact that I have a whole bunch of five inch round balloons that I don't use. I mean, I use them, but I don't use them. But the question is, how can I use them for other things? Well, this is the perfect time of the year where you can use them as ornaments. Blow it up, make it round. Don't want to go too big. I don't want a huge ornament. I want a small ornament that Buddy can actually hold. So all I'm going to do is tie a knot, little water balloon. That's all this is. I take out my reflex silver, unless you want to call it chrome gold. Chrome, chrome, chrome gold. This is chrome silver or reflex. This is actually reflex Patel-Tex. I'm going to give a little puff and tie a knot. What I'm going to do is tie this knot on here so I have something ugly like this and now here comes the fun part I'm going to insert that knot there are times that I just have to put things in areas I am actually holding everything up in the air here and what I'm doing is actually twisting it. I don't know you can't see inside it from this angle with the light I could actually see it I have now created my ornament what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a loop. I'm just going to wrap it around numerous times around this nozzle here, this head. This is something that you have to play with, folks. I, I mean, this is a skill level that you will obtain. It just takes some time practicing and doing these apple twists. I mean, when I first started out, there were more times that this exploded apart than actually worked. So here's the basic ornament. Now you could do two things. I, my, I hate to say it, my blue marker, I'm gonna try here, is really going bad. Oh, once you know, it came out nice here. You can do this option. Let me turn down my light here a little. Close up light. Ooh. There's only so much I could do with this. You could do, I, I'm a big fan of actually doing dark on light, meaning if I got a dark color balloon, I use a light color marker. If I have a uh, light color balloon, I use a dark color marker. This is actually a, a Galaxy paint marker that I've used. 
uh, Sharpie blue markers work or oh, I moved them. Hello. You can go with the Sharpie white. I do something very simple. You can see that the white really pops out nice. I do an X or ouch my table don't hit your table an asterisk with dots now the key with doing something like this is you try avoiding a pattern you want to make it look random the if you can make it look random you'll notice that it's a little easier if you start trying to do a pattern things become difficult so here is my quick little and I didn't decorate it long. You can put some more decorations on this. I don't want to spend all time decorating it. I'm going to back up here a little so you can see. I'm going to take this little loop. It's got the little loop in his hand. As you can see, we can now adjust the loop. You now have this cool little ornament. Now you're wondering, what do we do for the eyes? The eyes are not difficult, folks. I'll show you how to draw the eyes. At this moment, if you haven't, please click subscribe. If you're liking this, you know what? Just give me a like. Tell me you got some love. Give me some enjoyment here. I'm going to show you how to draw the eyes now. Eyes are not difficult to draw. What we're going to do is I'm going to... I draw, I draw my eyes starting from the bottom up and around. I'm, I draw the outside of the eye first. So in this example right here, I'm going to go up, down, and back. Again, up, down, and back. All right, those are my eyes. I, this is the easiest way I found... Yeah, I, oh yeah, the teeth, thank you. I totally forgot about that teeth, Judy. You know what? I, I will put the teeth, on. I'm so glad I put the chat on, thank you. Um, I will put the teeth in. Let me draw the eyes real quick here. Now, to do buddy, I do big circles for the center. And there's a couple options here now you could do. I'll, I'll draw, I have two options here. I'm gonna do option one since you stayed to the end i'm going to show you option one that you don't see in the beginning of the video and then i'll show you how i did the actual video if that makes sense the picture the you know what i'm talking about the picture what i'm going to do is i drew the eyes i'm going to come around with blue next like i said my blue is starting to go which i like in some cases because it gives me a lighter blue than a dark blue all right so I have my blue eyes, take my white now, and I go around the blue, and I just color now. Now there's two different effects here. By me not outlining the eye, I have a lighter, light soft effect, and I'll show you the difference between the two in a moment here. And then I'm just going to put the whites in his eyes. Hopefully I had that set up on camera for you to see. Here is eyes one. Here are eyes two. Notice here, again, the eyes, this version here, I did not outline the blue. This one I did. It's up to you which you want to do. Oop, let me get this in the camera. To move move things a little farther back here so I could get them side by side. This is typically how let's see I draw the eyes. I like to outline the eyes, but that's a, a secondary version if you want. It gives the eyes a slight softer look. All right, for the mouth. Now there's a couple things you could do. If I didn't go crazy and I forgot I went crazy before I did it. I could have taken the 350, that little scrap that I had left over for the mouth and used that. Instead, what I'm going to do, and again, this is depending on how big you make your mouth. Do you have a big mouth? Ah, fishing. Wait. 
Helps if you blow on the right end of the balloon. <gasps> well, okay. Here's my mouth. What I'm going to do is make sure that I have... I don't want to have this all the way to the end. I want to have a little leftover balloon. This way I can now adjust where this fits, meaning I could have it thin on the sides, big in the middle, so I get this big smiling grin. Let's see, where'd my cutter go? Cutter! Ah, there we go. Now, the mouth. Simply take one, wrap it around. And this is where the scrap of white comes in. Scrap of white balloon. If you do it like that, it looks like he has a mask. What you want to do is actually shove his teeth into his mouth. Before I forget, I want to add some eyebrows. Here you go. One buddy, the elf hat. Right here, folks. Right here. I, I have to. I got lights in here. This is, you know what I'm talking about. Buddy the elf hat. Right here. He is quick. He is easy to produce. He is fun to produce. He has a big wow factor. I mean, if a kid loves pink, you could do a pink elf. You could turn it into a girl elf. You could do almost anything you want with this elf. I want to thank everybody for uh, who stopped out here today. Give yourself a big hand. Yay! Thank you for stopping out. I stream every Friday. You'll see me next Friday. If there is something you would like to see or I haven't talked about, do me a favor. Drop the message in the comments, and I will make sure that I get back to your request and hopefully produce something that wows you or helps you in your entertainment career. But this is something that I've had a lot of success with. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you had fun with me for this last half hour. My name is Dale LeBrock the Magical Balloon Dude. Looking to see you here next Friday when I go live. Remember, you can see me on Mondays on Twitch. You can see me on my Facebook page and YouTube. Paula, thank you. Pauline, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for coming out. You guys be healthy, be safe, be wise. Have a great day. Watch the end. Bye-bye. Make sure you click. Click on that subscribe button and never miss a video. Subscribe now. Click the little bell and always be notified of a live broadcast. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're a TikTok fan, you'll find me under the same name, Dale LaBrocta. Looking forward to seeing you on social media.